Six words. One question was enough to really get me thinking. How would you want to die? No. Definitely not like that. No way. It seems whenever you try and talk about the idea of suicide, people just... Well, people just don't. They'll give you facts and percentages. They'll say, don't talk like that or take this pamphlet. So here we are. Let's talk about it. Wouldn't it be cool if when we just kind of decided we were done living, we could just poof and be gone? That's not how it goes. Of all the infinite possibilities to die, society always seems to choose the same methods. Drowning. You know, it's said in the last moments of drowning, your body is completely relaxed. That once you let the water into your lungs, your brain kind of just accepts it. I doubt it. Jumping. What more is there to say? Taking that giant leap of faith always ends the same way. Whether you want a watery grave, or a close casket, I ask you not how you would want to die, but why. Whatever situation you're in, however hard life gets, it will get better. The sun is always setting on some people, but I assure you it will rise again the next morning. So I'll tell you the hardest part about jumping. And it sure as hell isn't the reality you face if you decide to turn around. It's the ground. Overall, death is a mystery. Nobody actually knows for certain what happens when your heart stops beating or you decide to innocently retire. Sure, we have our theories. The fear of the unknown easily outweighs the facts right in front of us. Sure, life has its ups and downs, but that's just it. Life has its ups, and that's a fact. So if I had to choose a way to die, I wouldn't. I'd choose life every time. <laughs>